Okay, holo, holo movement starts off with e4. What did I play? I played e5 last time. Played a French recently and a Sicilian. What else? How about the uh, Lechen's defense? Haven't seen that for a while. Okay, pushes, that's the main move. And a good move. Now they usually follow up with d4 or c4. c4 chasing the knight, d4 just protecting the center. d4 and knight f3 is like the modern <clears throat> the modern treatment of the alakine. c4 kicking the knight and followed by d4 is kind of the old. Well, that's the chase variation or something. And that's a good way to play too. So black sets about undermining the center right away. That's why I play with d4 and c4. But yeah, he's playing with d4 and knight f3. And so I'm just piling up. This knight is also attacking the center. And now he kicks it. Okay, so we've transposed into uh, the line that I usually play. Well, if he takes. That's the way I play the white side of this. <clears throat> yeah. So this is supposed to be better for white, but um, I don't know. There's some interesting counter counterplay chances for black. Just developing. Um, so it's possible to put pressure on the C pawn immediately by threatening to trade that knight off, pulling the bishop away from defense of uh, C C4. Kind of a simple. A simple plan. Hmm. And he responds right away, kicking my knight. Okay, so if I go here, he's probably going to take the knight, isn't he? Knight takes, and then uh, I'll take the bishop, threatening his queen. He takes back, I take back, and then he wins a pawn there. So I should, um, if I take the knight first, and he takes my knight. And I take his bishop, he takes the pawn, I attack the pawn, he takes my bishop. He's gotten this pawn for that pawn, I guess. So bishop takes knight, bishop takes is not a problem because then I'll just play knight to um, knight to e5. So it's bishop takes, pawn takes is the problem. Bishop takes. I've got two pieces. He's got one piece. He takes here, though, threatening my wreck. I move my wreck. He takes my <clears throat> bishop with check. I block. And then eventually I have to round up that pawn. And uh, yeah, let's try that. It looks interesting. <laughs> we took with the bishop. <laughs> okay. Well, that was not at all uh, the critical line that I thought. Hmm. So this just gives up a pawn, doesn't it? If I take there, how is he attacking me? Maybe he attacks this knight. If I take with this knight, then I can always uh, retreat back somewhere, can't I? Maybe he can try and trap it by playing uh, f4, but that seems kind of, kind of weird. Maybe possible, though. Oh, 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 I missed that. That's a nice uh, tactic. The uh, queen check there is a good tactic to pick up the uh, C pawn. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see, if I try and throw in a check here, um, then he will just retreat the bishop. So I really have to grab the bishop, and then he's got that check. Oh, how, how, how terrible is that? <laughs> yeah, okay, good, good for him. He played that well. Can't bring the knight back to block the check. I have to do something like this. So I am a piece down for a pawn. Not good. Oh, 
let's just uh, get castled. And uh, see if I can get any kind of counterplay. I, <laughs> he hasn't developed any of his pieces, but uh, well, I'm barely developed either. Queen and bishop. And both have dark squared bishops. The bishop on this diagonal will be good. Yeah, his knight there is good too. And I put a rook to the uh, e-file. Yeah, I can't. I can't give up control of the e-file, even though that means he's going to trade more pieces. But let's, um, yeah, probably I should start with a3, b4, start start kicking things around <clears throat> b4 b5 to chase the knight and then take the b pawn is my idea and so he puts his queen there oh. okay well it's looking at the b pawn that's true so let's let's get in b5 I should put my bishop up to um, up to e5 there, looking at his uh, h-pawn. Maybe that will set up something for me. Okay, yeah, and he's uh, he's harassing my bishop, so here's a good a good chance to move it. So queen e7 to um, h4. Maybe he can play f4 to harass my bishop, but um, I don't know. That might be a little dangerous. If I play queen e7 and he plays f4 right away and I move the bishop, I can move the bishop with check. That'll save me. I was just thinking he might have a discovered attack on my queen by moving his knight. He, he has knight here check, but the queen can take there anyway. So f4, a little bit annoying. Well, he's taking his time to think. He's not just uh, playing casually. He wants to. He wants to get this win. So that's that's probably good. Let's see. Could I go to g4 immediately? It doesn't really threaten much. Although, bishop takes h7 check, followed by rook takes knight, picks up another pawn. Queen g4. He probably just plays h3 though and eliminates that idea. Or that. So he just trades, and I can't avoid the trade all that easily no other loose pieces on the board if I kick the knight and it moves He can probably take first anyway. I was just wondering. I mean, if I double my rooks, it's just kind of a waste of tempo because he's going to take the bishop anyway. So I'm looking for another useful move here. Um, queen e7. Bishop takes. Queen takes. I'm not really threatening the knight, but I am kind of threatening uh, pushing the pawn. Okay, we will do that. I 
So this threatens bishop takes and pawn to f5. If the knight moves, then this uh, taking the rook back here is it leads to a mate because of the back rank problems. So he takes, yeah. And now I'm threatening just f5. Yeah, so that solves both problems. It trades the queen and also defends the rook. So I want to get away from the um, discovered attacks there. <clears throat> I want to get my rook to um, my rook to e5 there. But maybe I should start with rook e7 because rook e5 right away he just plays at four. I don't have a bishop to deliver a check on that diagonal anymore. Yeah, he's attacking this pawn over here. Okay, so rook e7, he could have probably just taken that pawn. Rook e7 defends that pawn and allows me to double, and then I can threaten the knight or something. Can't really threaten the back rank anymore because he's got two pieces guarding the rook. I would have to get a third piece on there somehow okay he's hitting my queen so I guess I'll go ahead and take that pawn hmm I have to throw in a check first don't I rook takes check and I can take here, and he can take here, assuming he takes with the rook there. Still, do I have anything better? It's probably forced. My rook was under attack and my queen was under attack, so I had to do something. Took with the queen. Oh yeah, yeah. This uh, this pawn is still under attack. He can take it with his rook. So now, where can I go with my rook? This queen is guarding this square. Let's um, <laughs> start by uh, giving my king a little luft. Uh, he's got back rank threats against my king as well. Could have considered grabbing the a pawn, I guess. So what's this? I'm still one pawn up for the knight. Yeah, not not enough. Yeah, it's not so easy to activate that rook. He's got this file and this file under his control. So let's push a pawn over here, maybe try and open up a file over here for my rook. Okay, well, let's think. If I push here and he pushes on, I can actually grab the uh, A pawn. Might be worth something. And if he takes, then I can at least get an open file for the rook there. So he takes. So should I take with the rook? up my back rank I guess the check on the diagonal check here and check on the diagonal is deadly so let's take with the pawn hmm <laughs> so he just uh, moved his um, yeah now I can do this get my rip to an open file I want to get my queen on this diagonal <laughs> somehow. Queen here. Queen to e3 would threaten rook to... Uh, queen d3 would threaten rook b1 and threaten the pawn.
So, yeah, he's trying to figure out how to proceed. He's got a knight. It's not really participating just yet, which is kind of funny. I have a passed pawn, but it's way back. Okay, just goes for the mate. So that's what he was calculating. Is it safe to leave the back rank? This was his uh, consideration. So I can check on the back rank. Let's go ahead and do that. Now what? <clears throat> you know, I need to keep this defended. He's got a threat of check and check on the diagonal. And that will force a queen trade. Play my rook here to cover that. He takes it here. Can't cover it. Can't move the pawn to cover it. I could go here in advance and see how he responds to that. I think he's probably playing this pretty well here. But he still has to figure out how to get his rook into the game to, to really finish it. But, uh, you know, he's been keeping me busy with his threats. I haven't had time to try and advance. My one, my one asset here is the passed pawn, and it's just too far back to be a threat. As long as he keeps me busy by making his own threats. He can probably come to the back rank now. Check, I come up. Queen here, check. I come out this way. Well, maybe I escape. Hard to say. He can he can at least grab a pawn, can't he? <laughs> he can grab the uh, H pawn. If I went to um, if I went to G or H seven instead of G seven, I think Queen here traps my King, and it's hard to get out of the mating box. So I had to come up here so I can escape to F six. But Queen. Um, yeah, queen f8 check. He can, if nothing else, he can grab that pawn. Hmm, what does that do? This kind of limits my options. Let's see, if I come here and he checks with the rook here. Or if I go up, he's got a knight check and a pawn check. Knight check is no good, the pawn check. see pawn check I take he takes here go there also interpose the queen here let's try and hold on to the H pawn for a moment may have been playable to play um, king to e7 as well I'm not sure Yeah, so I think I take. I could just come up. Does that do anything? Okay, but let's calculate it. I take. He takes here with check. I go here. Where's his next check? His next check is here. And my king can go to this square. Then there's a knight check here. Or you're not there, but here. The knight there, queen there. Where's my king running? Has to run here. And there's um, and this check here. Queen's over there. I run that way. I, I don't see a mate. Let's see if he's found one. <laughs> At least my move is forced there, so it uh, makes it quick. Makes it quick. Ah, oh, the pawn. That's a good idea. So where can I go? Um, these squares are covered. Oh, so I have to sack the queen. Um, so I'm going to resign here. Yeah, good game. That was a nice, nice calculation by Hollow Movement. And uh, I'll upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.